Hey everybody, happy Fun Day Friday. Ooh. Cheers. Ooh, cheers. Good cheers choice, good choice, good choice. Yes, sir. Yes, hey, we sir. got a good one for you. Uh, blackened catfish and shrimp scampi. You don't want to miss it. Two delicious seafood dishes. We'll see you in just a second. That's like citrusy. What is happening? All right, it's Friday. Yeah, Back baby. You Made know what that week. means. That's right. It's time for Fun Day Friday, everybody. Again, shrimp scampi and blackened catfish. Before we get started, we need to remind you, it's 15% off site-wide right now at Rectech.com. That's 15% off grills. 15% mm -hmm. off grills. Get a grill now. Don't watch the show. Go to Rectech.com. No, you can, you can watch the show. <laughs> Go get a grill right now. Stat because it's only gonna last through the weekend. I think until Monday, they may even pull it earlier. Buy now, save now, 15% off at rectech.com. Um, but thank you for joining us. This is our weekly live cooking demonstration. And we're joined by our two resident chefs. Chef John. Mm. Of course you gave me a big old seven yeah. there. What's up everybody, how you guys doing? I'm so happy to be here with you, the worldwide headquarters for Rectech here with my counterpart. Yep, Chef Greg Muller. No more fire drills. We are back at it yeah. working hard today. We got yeah. power. Yeah, for a those, very, very interesting morning. Yeah, for those of you who didn't know, you know, we, uh, we didn't have power earlier. So we weren't able to pick up your phones. We weren't able to uh, answer your emails, but we've gotten caught up on all of those. Yeah. Uh, but don't worry, you can give us a call 706-922-0890. We turned it into a good field day out there. Throwing really? the Frisbee, hitting the golf balls. <laughs> Frank <laughs> actually got a nice walk in the field. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But today we're doing all about seafood. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do an amazing shrimp scampi recipe. It's mm. on the Rectech website. So if you guys want to make this tonight, all you gotta do is head on over to Rectech.com, go to that recipe section, you can find this in there. So you want to go ahead and just get it started? Absolutely. Let's yeah. right. Hey, just so, remind people we need a hundred likes. likes. We need a hundred likes to be able to spin the wheel of Rectech and give something away. We've got a winner to announce. Chef John, take it away. I'll be watching your comments live, so make sure you comment like got everybody. All right, so I'm going to start off with some Chef Greg's four-letter rub. We're going to go ahead and season these shrimp up. Now these are, uh, what are these, 25, 26, 24, somewhere right around there, shrimp. Medium-sized, medium-sized. Peeled veins, peel off. Peel and veined. And then we're going to hit it with some of that cold as freaking Greek, right? See, I find it frustrating, John, when people make a shrimp dish, and it's like got a sauce to it. And right. They leave the tails on. Yeah. So you're eating a nice dinner you're at someone's house, and you gotta like put your fingers on the food. It's yeah. Like, Come on, man. It is. It's not a low country boil. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. highfalutin around here. Yeah, guys, take it to the next level. Go ahead and peel and devein all of your shrimp, especially if you're gonna do some kind of pasta with it yeah. or oh. something that you're gonna eat with a fork. Definitely, definitely go ahead and do that. I don't eat the shells. Yeah, I don't like the Bad shells day. either. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up, right? So that's right. Look how good that looks right there. Get in there, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got the Road Warrior set to 500 degrees. I went ahead and put a cast iron skillet in there and let it come up to temperature with the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and really just start building this thing. Put a little hot towel down. So because you know what, these are beautiful cutting boards. Yeah, you shout don't take out. like some dirty cast iron skillet yeah. that's hot right on top of the cutting board, you'll burn it. Yeah, you totally will. Shout out Neanderthal. So I've got some butter. Yes, sir. We're gonna go ahead and throw this in here, guys. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit of butter, right? Just a little bit. See how it's already starting to melt? That's what we want. It's good foaminess. That's exactly what we want. See, Jody keeps picking these menus every Friday. <laughs> I think it's actually the stuff he wants to eat. We had lobster rolls so. the other week. I That's right. So. Got, All we right. got some shrimp. We got California Beach, North Carolina. Who else is in the comments? Les Burl out there in Baton Rouge. Oh, man, who else? Sherry Roberts has a good question. When cooking outside in windy, cool temps, how do you handle those conditions? I like to put a jacket on myself, right? So maybe a, a windbreaker. But as far as uh, how it relates to the grill, don't worry about it. You can set the, the grill temperature from your phone. Makes it super simple. Um, yeah, that's the Absolutely. hardest part about it is preheating the grill. Just push a button, 
Set the temp and stay inside. That PID controller is going to hold that temperature good and strong for you, even if it gets windy, even if, it, if it's cold outside and uh, some of that heat's being sucked out of the grill. Don't worry, that PID controller is going to uh, gotcha cover. handle you good and strong. Uh, Nebraska, South Jersey, sorry everybody. Yeah, Jersey. Uh, Athens in the house. Uh, Linda Moore knows I like shrimp. Uh, <laughs> Branson, Missouri, Oklahoma, Virginia. Y'all keep them coming. That's we it. we got to get 100 likes to give something away. Chef Greg, take it away. So Colorado. So completely unrelated, but those Jersey folks, it's a Taylor Hammer pork roll. I'm just saying. I got in a debate the other day with somebody, but we got some beautiful catfish that we uh, we caught down Rick the way. Con. It's good stuff. There you go. Um, I love catfish, right? Some people don't have an affinity for catfish. Man, I don't I, think they, they do it right. I think it's absolutely amazing. I'm a fan. So we're going to rectify this a good bit. We've got some of that Matt's Louisiana hot sauce. Ooh. Now, the Louisiana hot sauce is not like, you know, uh, super hot, right? It's got a good balance of vinegar and pepper to it. But I'm going to use this as my binder oh. because it's got flavor to it, right? Um, I'm going to put hot sauce on my catfish anyway. Why not start building layers of flavor like to start? So give us that salt, pepper, garlic. We're going to do a little bit of that Ben's heifer dust. Oh, yeah. Give it some and you don't need to go crazy with it, okay? But we do want to give it some love. And again, we're going to use that Loco Gringo Southwest seasoning. This is going to give us a lot of that herb, a lot of paprika. This is what's going to give us that burn and char when it comes to the blackened catfish. Shoot, yes, Chef Greg Blanchard, Oklahoma, Virginia, uh, Colorado again, Delaware, Columbia, South Carolina, right up the road, Albany, Georgia. That's Ooh. right, I said it right, Albany. That's Albany. What they say. Is it really uh, Albany on Albany? That's what they call it, <laughs> Albany. Uh, Athens, Alabama, Aiken, South Carolina, right up the road. That's where there Greg lives. Shoot you. Uh, Tennessee, Delaware, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Illinois for now. <laughs> uh, pork roll in all capital letters. That's it. Uh, Manitoba, Is Canada. Is that John Starcevich? Uh, no, Scott Daniels. There you go, Scott Daniels. Uh, Manitoba, Canada. Oh, Canada. Canada. Maryland. Virginia. Me. North Car Gastonia, North Carolina. Shout out, Gastonia. I know it, man. Yeah. I got a story about a little girl that lived in Gastonia, oh, Lord, North Carolina. I met go. her in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I forgot her name, but I, I bet she remembers me, too. I bet she remembers uh, Southern Indiana. Sorry, everybody. North Carolina, North Dakota. Sorry. Go ahead, Greg. Off the rails. All right, so side two now, there are two sides of the fish, right? Yum. You've got your skin side and then your, your flesh side. So <laughs> we always want to season um, that flesh side last because that's going to be the first part on the grill. That's your presentation side. Okay. That's okay. the side you don't want to screw up. The other side, if it's not perfect, eh, it'll work out you can okay. Hide it, right? Yeah, for sure. But you could do the same thing with any of like a, a mild white fish. Um, you could do this with salmon too, but yeah, salmon's overrated. And then uh, what grill are you going to be using today, Chef? We're going to use that Patio Legend RT410 right behind me. We're fired up to 500 degrees with a sear kit flat side up. And Sherpa, let's get in here real quick and show these people yeah. how we got this grill set up. Yo. Um, all right, so check it out. We've got two panels of that sear kit. Now, this is a little crusty, right? So you can take a spatula and scrape it, right? So we've already done that. It's nice and clean. We're also going to take a little bit of avocado oil. Why? Right? It's got a real high smoke tent. So we could spray that down like that. We've already got some good lubrication. And now you don't want to move it. Put your fish on, leave it alone. Okay? Do not move it. You don't want to spray the chip You don't want to like let that fish get crispy, crunchy, dark, delicious. Leave it alone. Okay. You did put the chip bag entirely. What are the instructors coming up for May this year. We've got one hellacious academy coming up. We've got Lee Smith with Bubba Grills. Yay. We've got Matt Goodman with Potts Barbecue. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a good hoot nanny around here because it's uh, Cinco de Mayo that Friday. That's right. And we always have a taco bar. But we're going to like elevate that taco bar at Academy a little bit. Why? Because it is Cinco de Mayo. I am super excited. So uh, Trey and I, we can come with a good plan. Hey, be fun, fun fact for those of you that didn't know. Rectech's birthday is celebrated on Cinco de Mayo. For sure. That's right. For sure. That's right. The 2018 Academy, the original, the OG, happened like a mile and a half right there. Cinco de Mayo. Shoot right. Indiana, uh, Alabama. Come on in here, shirt. Sure. Pennsylvania, Texas, Ohio, Kearns, Utah. Oh, that's looking really good. You guys can see the shrimp are already starting to take on a little bit of color, right? So before this plan starts to get too hot, we're going to go ahead and add our legs. So, you can use the 
get scarlet, like getting all the clothes and dice them up, and you go to the store and get the scarlet paste. John doesn't want to get the answer. Yeah, why, 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 they probably do the work for you, so just take it easy on yourself, go pick up some of the scarlet paste. I'm just going to squeeze this in. All right, John, while you let that keep going, we're going to go ahead and announce the winner from last Let's week. Let's do it. We spun the wheel of Rectech, and it landed on a Rectech apron, mm -hmm. which Greg is wearing right here, right now, available at Rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. 15% off? Absolutely, at Rectech.com. So the winner, and then we have also are going to announce the uh, golf tee uh, guesstimation. Okay. So last week during Master's Week, right. we posted a picture of a vase filled with uh, Rectech golf tees. I was yeah. way off. I, was, I wasn't even close. I said 169. <laughs> there were a lot of close guesses. Though. A lot of close. A lot of Thousand, guesses. thousands of close guesses. Yeah. But there was only like three or four correct guesses. That's true. And, and then what? when we did our research, the one that we saw first in Instagram that was posted first, okay? Um, by the way, the correct answer was 376. Woo! A I, lot of 375s. I guessed 169. I was yeah. way off. Um, but the winner we picked off of Instagram. Um as well so we're gonna announce the winner of that um so but but first off the winner of the apron last week uh is mr floyd massey hey, floyd, floyd. Congratulations. all right floyd and uh, we asked floyd what he would eat out of the masters yeah good answer he said he'd eat barbecue out there yeah, at the masters not? i like it why not um so floyd hit us up dm us on the rec tech facebook page we'll confirm that it is you and get that headed out to your wife shoot you um, now the winner of the golf tees like i said they were really they were dead on, dead on. 376 mm -hmm. we picked it from instagram yeah mr matt graff oh congratulations, congratulations. Matt. To our two winners, uh, DM us and we will confirm that it is you and we will get your prizes headed out there. But stay tuned, we're going to spin that wheel of Rectech when these guys get done cooking this amazing Ooh. seafood. On these look, sure, but like four to five minutes aside is really all you need, and the fish is going to tell you. All right, you see how it's starting to kind of curl up around the sides, and it's going to start to release from that circuit. That's a good sign. Now, if we go and lift it up, and it doesn't move. Patience. The fish will tell you when it's ready. Sure. Um, so again, you'll see some good crustification on the bottom, and it will start to kind of curl up and get a little uh, opaque around the sides. I like that. Sure, right? like hey, uh, some good questions out here, guys. Uh, one question: What seasonings work best with seafood slash fish? Um, really, all of them, and it depends what you like. I mean, you could use the Asian persuasion. I use that on everything. I mean, I put it on not just fish, but when I use it on uh, poultry and vegetables and salads. We made some amazing uh, fried rice earlier today, a little shake on there. Here's a hint. If your Chinese food around your area is not great, sprinkle some Asian persuasion on there to kind of ump that game a little bit. Um, but the soul powder is super delicious soul as well. Good. And it really depends on what you're looking for. You could use the Screaming Pig. It's got a nice sweetness to it. Um, we did some amazing tuna steaks not long ago yep. with some of that Screaming Pig on there. It was really good. Um, but really, all of them play well with basically every food. Right. Chef John, are you, are you still working good over there? Yeah, I'm looking good. I'm actually going to do the next step now. You can see the shrimpers. Get on in here, shirt. Sure. See it? The shrimpers starting to turn a little pinkish there. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, look at that. Looks so good. So now we're going to go ahead and Finish everything. Up. Now's the time, like the dropper spaghetti. The yes, it's perfect. Get your maybe a nice rice you get finished. Yes, it's a perfect time for all that. I'm not gonna lie, we did a. This was a couple weeks back. We took like those jumbo like foot potatoes. Oh yeah. We did like bake. They took forever to cook. Yeah, but, but you can so put like fill it with the shrimp scampi. Yes, I've done that with brisket too. Taking those big potatoes, oh. filling it with brisket, sour cream, I cheese. Like so so. Delicious. Yep. Some folks are asking uh, out there in the comments section, are phone lines still down? No. Our phone lines are up and running 706-922-0890. If you see the power on, if we are in the building, those yep. phone lines are on, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Um, uh, but again, thank you for being patient with us. Yep. Um, yeah. We have some more good questions out here. Uh, Let's get one more question. Oh, we'll flip the fish. Why did we 
move Funday Friday from being at 12 Eastern Standard to 2 Eastern Standard? That's a great question. Well, we wanted to give some other people a chance to look at it. We've been going live at 12 o'clock for so long. We wanted to switch up the time. Maybe that would help some other viewers that Absolutely. couldn't normally watch it get on and watch it. We tried to invent a new day of the week, but they wouldn't allow that. That's true. We yeah. did try to do that. Yep. Uh, Chef John's completely right. You know, we wanted to uh, extend the time, you know, for our folks out there on the West Coast that could actually watch us. Um, the folks out here on the East Coast, you know, were able to get it during lunch. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we were just, uh, you know, trying to open up. You guys know Funday Friday. You've seen Funday Friday. You've got your notifications set. So you guys are ready for it to come on. Um, and we're just trying to reach a broader audience. Yeah. Shoot and you. speaking of that, we're going to need you guys to smash that share button. Uh, to reach a broader audience. We'll give you three seconds to do a countdown, guys. Three, three two, two, one. Smash it! All right, Sherpa, come on, let's get in here. Let's flip this fish. Flip that fish. See, nice rustification here. We're looking at 80. That's how we're looking at it. Not a big deal. Flip it over. That'll be the case I eat. We'll let that go like in another maybe two minutes or so, and that'll be done. We're not, we're not taking internal temp of that. If we did, it would probably be right around 130 degrees. But typically with catfish and most leaner white fish, once it's opaque all the way through um, and or becomes very delicate, um, yeah, it's done. That's, done. That's what I was now, gonna ask you, Chef. If it Greg. falls apart, no big deal. Who's to say we weren't making fish tacos? You're gonna chop that stuff up anyway. Boy, or it's the piece that I'm gonna eat. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Boy, Chef, all right, last but not least, guys. Thank you, Chef Greg. Hey, so look how great this looks, right? Look at that percolation, mm -hmm. deliciousness over there. Now, you could tell the shrimp are done when they go from being white to this like translucent to this like orangish cooked color. Like you can see right there that it's not opaque anymore. It's kind of white. And you've all got the way like through. four pounds of shrimp in that pan. I, I, so went, you're, you're, I went ham. Yeah, well, I you knew ham. Jody was coming over for lunch. That's right. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So next up, we're going to take some of our parsley. We're just going to give it a shake, 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 just like this. And now, because we have a whole bunch of liquid in here, I want to take some of these breadcrumb. And these are just panko breadcrumb. And we're just going to slide it right over the top. Got a little crispy, crunchy in there. Yeah, you got to add a little texture to it. We're going to put this back on the grill and let it get a little brown on top. And it's going to be absolutely delicious, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, I really think we need more butter in there, John. You think so? Got another good question out there. Thank you so much, Rec Tech Nation, for hitting us up with these questions on uh, Funday Friday Live today. Um, guys, so how do you shut your grill down? So typically, I'm inside already eating dinner. Um, I've got the phone right there. And just turn it off. Yep. You, just, you just turn it off. Yeah. There's no reason to open the lid. Nope. There's no reason to, to turn it to uh, 200 degrees and let nope. it cool down nope. or anything. Nope. Nope. Like I said, we're going to eat some catfish. What I can do is super simple. I'm going to pull that fish off, push that button, let the grill cool down. It's going to go through its 300 second uh, cool down cycle. And at that point, we might still be out here jarring with you guys and you'll see that controller screen turn off. But that's it. Yeah. So after hitting the power button, the grill safely shuts itself. That's Absolutely. It. That's okay. It's cool. going to do its own thing. Absolutely. It's smarter than we are. That's right. Yeah, without a doubt. 100%. Uh, unequivocally but shout out everybody in the comment section we love you let us know where you're watching from again we got to get to a hundred likes of this video in order for us to give something away we I need it, it. Uh, make sure you hit that like button we also want to give a quick shout yes. out to our good friend uh, Daniel uh, Browning who is in Vegas right now or on his way to yeah. Vegas right now for the um, dance dance revolution marathon <laughs> <laughs> no for uh, it was a social content creators yeah. convention he was going to be nominated nice. for one of the top creators of the year shout out to you Daniel wow. we're super proud of you yeah. way to go my very friend cool. Yeah. very cool all right, so um, I think it's my turn. Uh, it is your turn, my friend. Okay, it's been it before uh, we get to, to eat with something. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Wheel of Rec Tech. You can't miss it. There's a couple of different rules. you got to spin it to the right, a.k.a. clockwise. you got to spin it with the utmost confidence in yourself as a person, a.k.a. hard as hell. Okay? Um, I like to start it on what I want to give away, and that's the RTB380. Now, this has been upgraded to the, R the RTB380X, so that's the brand new bullseye. Mm -hmm. um, yes, sir. So hopefully we'll be giving that away yeah. this week. Make sure you like, like this video. Make sure you share this video. Guys, give me a countdown. Three, two, one, spin it! All right. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. And answer the question, where on your patio is the new patio legend going? Is it going in the corner? Is it going right in the middle? Is it going off to the side? Let us know. 
And you can win yourself. All right, Tech Apron. I didn't. I didn't. I could have. I could have, but I didn't. Landed on a Rec Tech Apron again. Um, okay, you gotta keep we're going to add a, a you pick em, uh seasoning to that to make it a little bit better because like we've been it. giving aprons away like crazy. I like, I like it. it. All right, sure. Come on, get in here. See that fish? we got the sizzle sizzle all around the side. I can tell right now this fish is done. If I need to, I can, I can peek in the middle there. Okay? But we got sizzle sizzle everywhere. That's it. Look at that. Delicious. Right on that cutting board. Mm. Some hush puppy cornbread. Maybe a little fresh squeezed lemon. Holy smokes. Oh, no, dude, you grill that lemon, Holmes. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good, too. And again, that's my broke piece. Chef Greg's broke piece. That's okay. And then to clean this, sharp a look. Watch. We'll, we'll go do this. While the grill is hot, we'll scrape that stuff off. Not a problem. Turn it off. Push the button. Good night, Rectech. Good night. Yeah. So it's going to take 300 seconds for that grill to safely shut itself down. Yep. Very cool. Absolutely. And then we got a little more hot sauce on, right. on my piece. So give us a little bit of a recap, Greg, before we see Chef uh, John's masterpiece. Yep. So we give took time and temp. We took uh, this catfish. We went ahead and seasoned it with some hot sauce, some heifer dust, a little loco gringo. 500 degrees on the sear kit, flat side down. We were about uh, five minutes on side one, two and a half minutes on side two. Looking absolutely delicious. Now, I like it spicy, so I'm going to add a little more hot sauce on the top. Now, if you wanted to go crazy right now, you could grab that Ralph's Reaper. But we, we won't do that to you again. That was, that was, that was bad. That was hot. Um, yeah, well, go ahead and uh, let's let that cool off. Uh, John, it pulls yours out. Is All it ready? Right. Yes, sir. It is ready to go. Ooh, look at that wide bubbling. You guys can see that I got a little brown on top, too. That's exactly what we were looking for. Bubbly deliciousness is what's going on. And the cool right part here. about this is you could go from grill to table in yep. that cast iron skillet. And your food is going to stay hot, yep. like for through sure. the duration. For sure, Absolutely right. A little one pan meal right here. I love yeah, it. That's what I'm talking. It seems like right. rice. Chef John, give us a little bit of a recap. Okay, guys. Asking, uh, they missed uh, what temperature you were cooking at and all I, that other stuff. I absolutely love it. So I had. Uh, it's set to 500 degrees. I had the grill set to 500 degrees, and all we did, this was super simple, all we did was get the shrimp. We seasoned the shrimp with Chef Greg's four-letter rub and some of that Colton's freaking Greek. This stuff was absolutely delicious together. We cooked the shrimp off in the pan, put a little butter in there, a little white wine, parsley, garlic, covered it with some breadcrumbs, ground it off, Shoot you. and here you go. Nice. That looks Took amazing. Took 20 minutes, Jay, 20, 20 minutes. Yep. And you fit that cast iron skillet uh, in the Road Warrior as well. Right in the Road Warrior, fit perfect. Yeah, that is perfect for like uh, camping, yeah. for tailgating, yes, for sure. You could like put the shrimp on top of here oh, too. There you go. Looking good. There you go. Super tasty. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, hot. It's hot and delicious. Delicious. Uh, hot. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Mm. That's a win right there. Yum. That's a and win. This is, is this recipe available, Rick? Uh, no, but it will be. Okay. Uh, but you could also use the um, different hot sauce. You want a little more heat. The salsa right. verde, the peri peri on there, it's super tasty. What fish could you substitute, Chef? I mean, you could use uh, tilapia, halibut, uh, grouper, snapper. Um, you could do salmon too, but I, I would typically go with like a mild. Now, guys, it's going to be nuclear, so just blow on a little bit. What could you substitute for shrimp? Oh, you scallops. Um, what else would I substitute? You could actually, you could probably do this with some thicker fish. You could do it in uh, the scampi; would be really, really good. Even chopped calamari. Oh, calamari! I didn't yeah. think about that. That'd be great too. Tacos. Tacos. Yeah, good. Cuttlefish. Cuttlefish? Oh, wow. I'd like sure. cuttlefish with you. Look how <laughs> moist that is. It looks absolutely amazing. That fish is like dripping in moisture. Good times. And we cooked this in the Rectech of the Ultimate Blend Pellets. Mm. Perfectly juicy, perfectly moist. Easy. Knocked it out of the park. I want to remind everybody, it's 15% oh, sure. off at Rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com right now. Go check it out. 15% off grills, y'all. Um, <laughs> Season it up, boys. Love it, love it. From everybody here at the Rectech Worldwide Headquarters, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. We'll see you at, at the Rectech. Dude, 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 this turned out really good, guys. Looks, so looks amazing. Delicious. I'm excited for some baguette bread, make like a catfish. I'm telling you, catfish I'm some noodles. Very crispy. Mm -hmm. 